In the kidney, the loop of Heen is the portion of a nephron that leads from the proximal convoluted tubule to the distal convoluted tubule. Named after its discoverer, the German anatomist Friedrich Gustav Jacob Heen, the loop of Heen's main function is to create a concentration gradient in the medulla of the kidney. By means of a countercurrent multiplier system, which utilizes electrolyte pumps, the loop of Heen creates an area of high urea concentration deep in the medulla, near the papillary duct in the collecting duct system. Water present in the filtrate in the papillary duct flows through aquaporin channels out of the duct, moving passively down its concentration gradient. This process reabsorbs water and creates a concentrated urine for excretion. Structure The loop of Heen can be divided into four parts, thin descending limb of loop of Heen. The thin descending limb has low permeability to ions and urea, while being highly permeable to water. The loop has a sharp bend in the renal medulla going from descending to ascending thin limb. Thin ascending limb of loop of Heen The thin ascending limb is impermeable to water. But it is permeable to ions. Thick ascending limb of lupapine, sodium, potassium, and chloride ions are reabsorbed from the urine by secondary active transport by a NAKC alka transporter. The electrical and concentration gradient drives more reabsorption of Na, as well as other cations such as magnesium and calcium. Cortical thick ascending limb The cortical thick ascending limb drains urine into the distal convoluted tubule. The tissue type of the loop is simple squamous epithelium. The thick and thin terminology does not refer to the size of the lumen, but to the size of the epithelial. The loop is also sometimes called the nephron loop. Equals blood supply equals. The loop of Heenle is supplied by blood in a series of straight capillaries descending from the cortical efferent arterioles. These capillaries also have a countercurrent multiplier mechanism that prevents washout of solids from the medulla, thereby maintaining the medullary concentration. As water is osmotically driven from the descending limb into the interstitium, it readily enters the vasa recta. The low blood flow through the vasa recta allows time for osmotic equilibration, and can be altered by changing the resistance of the vessel's efferent arterioles. As well. Blood in the vasa recta still has large proteins and ions which were not filtered through the glomerulus. This provides an oncontic pressure for ions to enter the vasa recta from the interstitium. The main function of the loop of Heenl is to set up a concentration gradient. Physiology The descending loop of Heenl receives isotonic fluid from the proximal convoluted tubule. The fluid is isotonic because as ions are reabsorbed by the gradient time system, Water is also reabsorbed maintaining the osmolarity of the fluid in the PCT. Substances reabsorbed in the PCT include urea, water, potassium, sodium, chloride, glucose, amino acids, lactate, phosphate, and bicarbonate. Since water is also reabsorbed the volume of fluid in the loop of Heenl is less than the PCT, approximately one-third of the original volume. The interstitium of the kidney increases in osmolarity outside as the loop of Heenl descends from 600 mOSML in the outer medulla of the kidney to 1200 mOSML in the inner medulla. The descending portion of the loop of Heenl is extremely permeable to water and is less permeable to ions, therefore water is easily reabsorbed here and solutes are not readily reabsorbed. The 300 mOSML fluid from the loop loses water to the higher concentration outside the loop and increases in tonicity until it reaches its maximum at the bottom of the loop. This area represents the highest concentration in the nephron, but the collecting duct can reach this same tonicity with maximum ADH effect. The ascending limb of the loop of Heenl receives an even lower volume of fluid and has different characteristics compared to the descending limb. In the ascending portion, the loop becomes impermeable to water and the cells of the loop actively reabsorb solutes from the luminal fluid. Therefore water is not reabsorbed and ions are readily reabsorbed. As ions leave the lumen via the NAR K2 centiliter symporter and the NAR H antiporter, the concentration becomes more and more hypotonic until it reaches approximately 100 to 150 mOSML. The ascending limb is also called the diluting segment of the nephron because of its ability to dilute the fluid in the loop from 1200 mOSML to 100 mOSML. Flow of the fluid through the entire loop of Heenl is considered slow. 
As flow increases, the ability of the loop to maintain its osmolar gradient is reduced. The vasa recta also have a slow flow as well. Increases in vasa recta flow wash away metabolites and cause the medulla to lose osmolarity as well. Increases in flow will disrupt the kidney's ability to form concentrated urine. Overall the loop of heme reabsorbs around 25% of filtered ions and 20% of the filtered water in a normal kidney. These ions are mostly Na+, CLA, K+, Ka2+, and HCO3A. The powering forces the NaKH base on the basolateral membrane which maintains the ion concentrations inside the cells. On the luminal membrane, Na enters the cells passively, utilizing the NaK2 centiliter symportna. Then the NaKH base will pump 3 Na out into the peritubular fluid and 2K into the cell on the non-lumen side of the cell. This gives the lumen of the fluid in the loop a positive charge in comparison and creates a Na concentration gradient, which both push more Na into the cell via the Na H antiporter. The hydrogen ion for the antiporter comes from the enzyme carbonic anhydrase, which takes water and carbon dioxide and forms bicarbonate and hydrogen ion. The hydrogen ion is exchanged for the Na in the tubular fluid of the loop of Heme. History the loop of Heen is named after its discoverer, German anatomist Friedrich Gustav Jacob Heen. Additional images. References. Further reading, Douglas C. Eaton, John Pula. Van der's Renal Physiology. McGraw-Hill Medical. ISBN 0-07-135728-9. Lute, Christopher J. The Loop of Heen, Distal Tubing and Collecting Duct. Principles of Renal Physiology. Springer. Pages 70. ISBN 978-0-7923-6178-7. External links. Loop of Physiology.